so the only thing I've got left after filing the whole piece all the way around is I want to actually deburr these holes just a little bit. You don't want any, um, especially the um, top flange, or the top rib on the rubber rudder. I'm probably going to put some rivets in these holes so that it's a pretty closed up enclosure. And then after that, I will take and uh, uh, I've got a sanding brush here. I like to use this in the uh, corners here. It's like uh, 220 or 320 grit just to kind of get that final smoothness on the on all my edges. And I'll go around and use a um, Sometimes I go right to the uh, sanding belt or little pieces like this. I just use a little block sander because it doesn't take long to go ahead and get the piece all finished up. It's nice to do this now before uh, sanding it down before you bend it, so that's for sure. Edge here. I'll go ahead and use that last bit, and it's nice and smooth. Uh, the edges, so that piece is ready to go into the clamp and be done. All right, so we've got our piece. We've uh, labeled it in for the side that I want to um, fold, so I mean fold into. So what we do is take the, the form block, we'll just simply place one side on here like this. So I'm going to take my little wing nut, my wing uh, bolt and washer on there, stick it in there like so, and then on the other side we'll kind of flip it over, we'll stick the other side of the form block on it. Now I just need to remember so the side that I screwed into is the side that I want to fold against. Uh, I want to hammer down the flange that way. So I'll just, I'll have to remember that. That's where the bolt insert in. And I can kind of see the uh, printing on the sheet metal right there. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Anyway, so you kind of flip this guy over and you put a little washer on there, a little bolt, and a wing nut. I figure this is just easy. I don't have to use another tool. I can hand tighten it pretty darn tight, at least enough for the purpose of bending these flanges over. And get these, uh, the whole point is that, you know, you got, you want to make it so that if you can see it from this direction, you know, uh, the wing nuts are below the surface on both sides, so it makes it really easy to kind of hammer down. So I found uh, on the, f <laughs> the couple ribs that I've actually done that doing it in a vise is actually makes it a little easier for me, especially toward this side of the form block because you'll see you, know, you have wing nuts right here, so there's not really a lot holding the wood together down here. So I have it in the vise, that kind of serves that purpose. So uh, let's go ahead and, and do that. Uh, the easy side is pretty much uh, this... Uh, I don't even have my vice mounted down real well. I like to be able to move my vice around. At least I found that so far to be pretty useful. Again, I'm trying to remember which side I... Uh, the side of the bolts is where... I'm not kind of moving this around so much. Because the side of the bolts is where I need to start hammering down. I cinch that down pretty darn good. get my rubber side of my mallet, obviously, and I start going away. It's pretty darn straightforward. Uh, again, I'm not, no ex I'm not an expert at this, uh, just showing what I've learned from the web and other builders. So you can see that's a pretty good, uh, uh, pretty good flange there. Uh, 
not very, uh, that's a short one, so that's pretty easy to do. So let's take one of the longer ones. And uh, you kind of have to do this in kind of a, a couple tries and kind of see it a little better there. I get that side pretty much done. I can move the vise. Pretty nice, um, even uh, uh, flange there. Uh, we really have just one more to go, and that'll be this side. Sure, when it gets to bigger ribs, I'm gonna have to clamp this down to the table and such. One thing I do. To help me out here is put a clamp in place on that tip where it doesn't have much help in it. I don't tighten my, didn't tighten my clamp down, my vice down quite enough, it's slipping away from me. I like that nice and smooth. that last part of that long piece. And we are done. Uh, just check my flange here. You can see it kind of fit all the way around pretty smoothly. Uh, it's not perfect, but that's not the point. And you get it pretty smooth and you're going to have to I'm going to take it out of the box. And that's uh, the flange. Now you'll notice it has a slight bend to it. Uh, so we do have to crack. Now the final step that I forgot to do in uh, the last video clip was, you know, it wasn't really that flat. And so what you got to do is do some fluting even on these straight ribs up here uh, because of the bowing that occurs when you're hammering in those edges uh, this this uh, flange tends to go uh, in a little bit I guess and so it's not the same length as the outside. The uh, EAA website uh, video tips for home builders and I believe a Sonics uh, employee is uh, given that uh, instruction on there basically on how to do this fluting with these uh, uh, fluting pliers so pretty straightforward to kind of flute these edges we're not going to uh, but now you can see that there's a nice uh, straight flange lace uh, flat on the bench so that's it that's our rib and uh, I do one more of those and I'm ready to put together my rudder